idea behind a 24-hour trip is to eliminate those barriers that prevent you from going out into the wilderness. Up into the Gallatin Mountains, heading for a Alpine Lake. It's cold afternoon. It's about 48 degrees right now. Chilly. We'll see what what happens tonight. These trips are planned totally on the fly. I have this backpack that contains an entire kit um, already packed, ready to go, hangs on a hook in my garage, and that's what I grab. Whatever's in there, that's what goes with me. And I'll add a little food from a storage bin on one of my shelves and a map from another bin, and that's about it. We'll drive to a trailhead, and then we'll start planning the trip from there. And the only stipulation is that we're back at our home within 24 hours. It's quick, it's easy, it's, it's exciting, it's unpredictable, and uh, it's a really fun way to enjoy wild places. It's 39 right now. It's just dropped a full 10, 10 degrees since we left the trailhead. And it's starting to snow. Gotta love it. I really don't want to get my feet wet. It's going to be cold. Success. Sometimes I'll have it in my head to take a particular route, and then something else may catch my eye, and I'll go there instead. Surprisingly, a 24-hour trip can present you with a lot of flexibility that you don't normally have. Just some thick bush, steep climbing, and it's snowing pretty good and then thunder. Gonna get back on the trail, put some miles um, under our feet tonight and see where we end up. But uh, yeah, it's much more pleasant down here. <laughs> There's this canyon near Bozeman. It's about a 20 to 25 mile drive. Uh, it's, all of us just call it Highlight. And it's sort of this mini mecca for recreationists. There's this big reservoir at the end of the road for boating. Tons and tons of trails, beautiful alpine scenery, lots of waterfalls, and some of the best ice climbing in the world. During the summer, it's just nuts up here. Lots and lots of people. I don't really like hiking here until the fall brings colder temperatures and snow and then you have some solitude, at least until ice climbing season starts up in October. So in mid-September I took our dog Maya and we made a quick 24-hour trip up here. We were really blessed to have the Upper Canyon all to ourselves, which really deepened the experience on such a short trip. It was pretty neat. Starting to get dark now. Cold. It's windy up here. Still snowing. We arrived at the top of the Cirque near dusk after just sort of ambling up the canyon, looking at waterfalls, taking pictures, and bushwhacking down a side canyon. By then the temperature had really dropped and it was snowing pretty hard, so I was pretty eager to get the tarp pitched and some soup warmed up. Well, here we are, finally at camp, up in the uh, head of the Cirque. It's really cold, snowing hard, and uh, I'm hungry, so I'm going to cook some dinner and go to bed. Huh? Does that sound good, girl? Yeah. yeah. It's 24 degrees, temperature's dropped 25 degrees in about... Oh, I don't know, the five hours that I've been um, up here since I started from the trailhead. So it's it's going to be pretty cold tonight. Um, I'm on my third 
bowl of soup and hot food and have a warm dog to snuggle up against. So. One of the logistical barriers to going backpacking is food preparation and packaging. So two or three times a year, I like to shop, prepare, and package a bunch of grab-and-go meals and just store them in a bin in my garage. Then, when the opportunity for a quick trip comes up, I can just grab a few thousand calories worth of food and be done with it. The more time you spend preparing, the better your food options will be, but sometimes snacks from the pantry are enough. So don't let food planning and preparation be a barrier to getting out for an overnighter. You're not going to starve. And nutrition planning should be pretty low on the totem pole of priorities if it means you have to spend several hours getting meals ready. It's just not worth it. Do you honestly think you're getting my food? So there you have it, a quick trip in the Gallatin Mountains on the fall equinox. The bottom line, get ready, stay ready, and be ready to roll on a moment's notice. Don't let the logistics get in the way. I'm Ryan Jordan with Backpacking Life. Godspeed. <laughs>